My name is Margaret Ann, and I'm on the product team here at StatSync. StatSync is a feature flagging and experimentation tool that unlocks the power of full stack product observability for any company that builds and ships products today. Our tool is beloved by companies across a variety of different industries, from AI to self-driving cars, from B2B uh, SaaS to e-commerce. With StatSig, the whole team can be involved in experimentation and building products in a more data-driven way. And in fact, a number of our customers have told us that when they added StatSig to their team, their experimentation practice was supercharged. Depending on your data stack, there are two different ways you can leverage the StatSig platform, StatSig Cloud and StatSig Warehouse Native. StatSig Cloud is an end-to-end -end hosted solution and the fastest way to get up and running on StatSig. Our warehouse native solution is a good fit for customers who already have a Source of Truth metrics catalog in their own data warehouse that will form the foundation of their analyses. Both solutions have powerful feature flagging, experimentation, and analytics capabilities. For today's demo, we're going to hop into the console and take a quick look at StatSig Cloud. When you open up your StatSig console, the first tab you land on is your home feed, which provides an overview of everything that is happening in your project, whether it's features that are launching, new experiments that have gone live, or how your business metrics are trending week over week. The feed also provides an easy way for your whole team to keep tabs on things like experiments, hitting target duration, or even issues that need your attention within your project, such as failing health checks. When you go to the Feature Gates tab, you'll see a list of all the features that your company is rolling out. These don't necessarily need to be user-facing features, but could include backend or infrastructure rollouts. A Feature Gate controls who gets to see a feature and who doesn't. We do this via a set of conditional logic. You can configure conditions based on environmental attributes such as browser or country, or user level attributes such as email or whether a user passes a targeting gate or is in a specific segment or not. Once your gate goes live, StatSig surfaces a set of debugging tools and health checks that help quickly surface and diagnose any issues within your gate configuration. Once you've confirmed that your gate is working as expected, this is where StatSig's special sauce kicks in. As you start to roll out your new change, StatSig detects any partial rollouts and automatically turns it into an A-B test. This is helpful because it enables you to see the impact of your new feature rollout on your core business and product metrics and catch any regressions before they may impact your user base at scale. Metric lifts are pre-computed, which means that any impact is easy to understand in real time. If you see a surprising trend in your metric lifts, you can double click on results via the Explore tab, which enables you to filter or group your experiment results by custom attributes. So let's say I want to double click on Add to Cart. I can then group by country to split further. If you want to run a test with more than two variants, you'll want to harness the full power of StatSig's experimentation product. With experiments, you can configure A, B, N multivariate tests with a defined hypothesis as well as primary and secondary metrics. In addition to being able to run more complex multivariate tests, StatSig also offers a variety of more powerful statistical analyses, such as sequential testing, which dynamically adjusts confidence intervals based on how long the experiment has been running, as well as Cupid, which corrects for pre-experiment bias. Experiment readouts are done via the scorecard, which is an artifact that can be shared throughout the team and serves as a permanent record of why certain product decisions were made. StatSig's Metrics tab provides you visibility into the events and corresponding computed metrics that form the foundation of your experiment in future gate lifts. You can get your events and metrics into StatSig in a variety of ways, including logging via our SDKs or using one of our connections to data aggregators such as Segment or Heap. You can also import pre-computed metrics directly into StatSig using our integrations with data warehouses such as Snowflake, BigQuery, and Redshift. Finally, you can combine events or metrics into new custom metrics, creating custom aggregations to best encapsulate what you are trying to measure and track over time. While exploring surprising experiment or rollout lifts is definitely important, sometimes you just want to understand top-line metric trends. StatSig's Metrics Explorer enables such exploration. With Metrics Explorer, you can select a metric or several metrics to apply custom filters or aggregations to in order to understand and debug user trends. So for example, let's say I want to understand the average value of items users are adding to their cart broken up by country. I could use the logged item value in the Add to Cart event and group by country, then take a running weekly average to smooth the curve out to account for day of week fluctuations. What I shared today is only a subset of everything that you can do in StatSig Console, and we're continuously working to improve the product and unlock new use cases. Thanks for joining me, and I'm excited to see you in the console soon.